Hey Darman fam, I put together some of my favorite videos that I know you're gonna love. I hope you enjoy them and please remember we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. Let's go ahead and play today's video. Here you go sir, here's your lunch. Are you kidding me? You call that lunch? I cannot believe that me, a multi-millionaire, is sitting here in this dump eating this garbage food. What do I look like, a janitor? I'll try to get you better accommodation, sir. Yes. And why has nobody come to visit me? Tell everyone at the company I'm in the hospital. Okay, I know they're worried about me. They'll come to visit. Yes, sir. I'll tell everyone right away. Yes, you will. This room ain't so bad. I'm a CEO of a major company. I own a private jet and I live in a mansion. So I'm used to a little higher standards. What is it that you do? Well, ironically, I'm a janitor. <laughs> well, there you go. This is probably high class for a janitor, huh? I'll tell you what, if we ever get out of this dump, I can teach you a thing or two about uh, success. Sounds good. Babe. Hey, sweetie. I made your favorite meal to cheer you up. Oh, you should now. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'll be right outside, okay? Okay. I love that woman. Is your wife coming to see you too? <laughs> uh, you mean ex-wife. Yeah, she'd probably rather have me dead than bring me food. We were getting a divorce, I got the best lawyer, and she did not get one dime. <laughs> not a penny. Uh, I guess. Daddy, Daddy, look what I drew. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Oh. Hope you feel better. Love you. Bye. Bye. It's cute. Yes, sir. What about you? Do you have any children? <laughs> um, my daughter doesn't talk to me anymore. She thinks I was too busy while she was growing up to take care of her because I was building my company. Who needs a daughter anyway when you have as many cars as I have? <laughs> hey, Carlos. Hey, boss. What you got there? All of us at work heard what happened and we wanted to give you these. Looks like you already have so many flowers I don't even know where to put these. You give them to me. I'll hold on to them. Listen, I'm going to come back and see you later. All of us at the office are praying for you. You've got a lot of love. So, get better. Thank you. Man, I've got the best boss in the world. He always helps me. I bet you have a lot of employees you help out too, huh? <laughs> yeah, sir. Only a janitor would say something like that. You don't make the kind of profits I do by helping people. Hello, sir. I um, told everyone at the office you're in the hospital. Well, are they coming? I'm sorry, sir. I don't think so. After the last round of layoffs, everyone's still pretty upset. Are you kidding me? Nobody's coming to see me. I called everyone, but they all said that they don't want to see you. I'm sorry, but I'll see you tomorrow. I may not have a big house, I may not have a private jet, or lots of money. One thing I do have though, is I have a lot of love around me. Great news! Hey. We're taking you home. Really? Yes! What? Yay! Daddy's coming home! Yay! Everyone is coming to your house to celebrate. Really? And the whole company is coming to see you. Does this mean I get my new promotion? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 hey man, there's a day party having me on Greek Row. You want to roll? Um, I thought we were gonna go to the library to study for finals. <laughs> you stop being such a nerd. Forget about finals. Come on, let's go, right? Come on. Come 
Come on, Norman. It'll be fun. I promise. <laughs> it's tempting, but I can't. I'm really trying to become a lawyer, so I need to pass these classes. You should really be studying too, Kyle. Come on, man. You really gonna put books over babes? You really are a loser, Norman. <laughs> oh, come on, ladies, let's go. <laughs> And you missed out yesterday. You should've came, man. It's okay, I got a lot of studying done. <laughs> Yo, Kyle, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up? What put you up to? Setting the class, what's up with you guys? We have some beer. And... and we're heading to the beach right now. You wanna go? We got three girls coming, me and an extra guy. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Kyle, I mean, those are in two days. If you don't pass, I mean, you won't graduate. <sighs> wow, come on, man. What are you, my mom? Just make sure to take good notes and I'll copy them later. All right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's go. Woo! Yay! Yay! That's how you do it! <laughs> Guys, uh, would you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to study. All right, all right. Turn it down. What's up, man? Here, forget studying. Come on. Have a drink with us. I'm sorry, but I gotta focus. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be drinking either, Kyle. Our final's at 8 a.m. Oh, my. You know what? From now on, your new name's gonna be Norman the Nerd, right guys? <laughs> <laughs> Look man, how about you get rid of this book and pick up a drink instead? Stop right? it, I need oh, that. No, Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> Give me my book. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no way. Oh no. Guess you can't study now, Norman the Nerd. <laughs> it's okay, let's play, come on. You know what? If caring about my future makes me a nerd, then I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> what? And you should always be nice to nerds. Because chances are, you'll probably end up working for one. <laughs> what a loser, right? <laughs> Forget him. Come on, let's play, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go, my turn. Norman goes back to studying for his finals. Kyle, on the other hand, continues to party. He stays up all night drinking and having fun. The next morning, Norman wakes up with a clear mind and ready to ace his finals. While Kyle wakes up with a big hangover and struggles to even get out of bed. One week later, each of them got their test scores back. Sure enough, Norman ends up acing his final exam and gets an A+. Kyle, on the other hand, ends up failing his final. He now has to retake all of his classes and his parents are so disappointed in him. Norman ends up graduating with the highest honors. His family couldn't be more proud of him. A few years pass, and then one day, Kyle happens to run into Norman. Norman? Hey, Kyle. Yeah. It's been a long time. Wow. I had no idea you worked here. I do. What are you doing here? I'm actually applying for a job. No way. Congrats. I, I didn't know you graduated and became a lawyer. Oh. I didn't, 
actually. I'm applying for the receptionist position. Hey, maybe you could put in a good word with your boss? Actually, I am the boss. Come here. Why don't we take a look at your resume? State grandpa's. I don't want to sleep here. Kevin, it's Thanksgiving. You know it's our family tradition. Yeah, but this place is a dump. Plus, this sleeping bag is so uncomfortable. I just want to sleep in my own bed. That is not what's important. At least you're gonna have a roof over your head. You should be grateful for that. You know, some people have to sleep on the street. Yeah, well that's not my problem. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I brought stuffing. Hi, sweetheart. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Ah, there's my big guy. Come here. I am sorry, Dad. Yeah. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. I'll take that. It smells so good in here. Would you like it's <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> so, how's everything going at work? Oh, everything's going great. I'm still at the same place. And... You know what? Just give me a sec. I'll be right back. <laughs> Kevin, why aren't you hanging out with your cousins? Because I don't want to. I just want to play my iPad. You can play on your iPad tomorrow. Give that back! You know what? You should be grateful that you have all this family to spend time with. You know, some people have to spend Thanksgiving all alone. Well, then they must be lucky. Because I'd rather be alone, too. Thank you, guys. That's quite all right. Where's the turkey? Well, uh, I, I'm really sorry, Kevin, but uh, things have been a little tight, so I couldn't buy a turkey this year. What? You can't be serious. What's the point in having a Thanksgiving dinner if we're not going to have any turkey? Look, it's no big deal. There's plenty of food to eat. You know, some people don't have any food at all. You should be grateful. Oh, just stop it, Mom. I'm so sick of you saying that. What other people don't have isn't my problem. This is seriously the worst Thanksgiving ever. Kevin, grab your sleeping bag and come with me. Why? You'll see. I can't believe how you acted in there. Oh, what'd you expect? You forced me to spend time with family. You make me sleep in a crappy apartment in a sleeping bag. And there's not even any turkey with our dinner. Do you realize how many people wish they had the things that you're complaining about? Why do you keep saying that? Do you see that guy over there? I want you to give him this. There's not even any turkey with it. He's not gonna want it. Just give it to him. <sighs> Fine. Uh, excuse me? My mom wanted me to give you this. It's just leftovers, and there's no turkey. So I don't know if you want it, but... <laughs> oh my god. I've been so hungry. And I didn't know I was going to eat today. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Wow. I didn't expect that. Come on. We've got another stop to make.
see that woman over there? I want you to give her your sleeping bag. What? No! Then what am I gonna sleep on? Don't worry about it. I'll get you some blankets. Just give it to her. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry to bother you. I don't know if you want this or not. It's used. A sleeping bag? Is this for real? You have no idea how much this is going to help me. I've been so cold. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so glad we gave that to her. It seemed like she really needed it. Do you see how much people appreciate the things you were taking for granted? Okay, we can go back now. <laughs> Hey, uh, is everything okay? Why are you crying? Oh, it's nothing, I'm sorry. You can talk to us. Tell us what's wrong, sweetie. I just miss my family. <laughs> I lost my parents last year and <laughs> this is the first Thanksgiving that I ever had to spend alone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, maybe you could spend this Thanksgiving with our family. No. That'd be too much. Please. We would love to have you. Come on. There you go. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for everything. You're welcome. Make yourself at home. Consider us like family. I am so proud of you. You know what? We can go home tonight so you can sleep in your own bed. I'll even let you have your iPad back. Really? You know, actually, I'd rather stay. I'm so grateful for everything I have. And this is turning out to be the best Thanksgiving ever. Oh, sweetheart. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Grandpa, this food looks really good. Thank you, son. Hey, Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. Think you can get this new Wolfpack hoodie? Cyberwolf just came out with it. That gamer girl? You can play with this while you wait here. Video games aren't for girls. So why'd you kick this? My mom says girls can't play. Oh my gosh, Sniper Wolf? So your mom says girls can't what? 